Tesla has long held the crown in the electric vehicle world. Its cars have for many years beaten others in terms of range per charge, performance and ease of use. It's all thanks to the over-the-air software update system that even Teslas that are several years old can learn new skills and get new features, which keeps them competitive against brand new plug-in cars. While most people know that the over-the-air software update system can add additional features and improve functionality of things like Tesla's autopilot system, it can also make tweaks and adjustments to the other systems in the car, like its battery management and power controller systems. And a software update earlier this year for certain Model S and Model X variants did just that. It tweaked Tesla's battery management system in a way that actually reduced the available capacity and thus range of customers' cars, as well as make a tweak to the charge curve of vehicles when using supercharger stations. This tweak caused some significant backlash among certain Tesla owners and even prompted a court case that is apparently still ongoing in which some owners allege Tesla is using its software update system to mask a faulty battery that should be replaced under warranty. Now, as Tesla Bjorn on his YouTube channel detailed earlier this week, it appears the range rollback is happening to some Model 3s as well. In an extensive exclusive video, you can watch it here, Bjorn uses some pretty methodical techniques to prove that his Model 3, called MC Hammer, has suddenly lost about 5 kilowatt hours of available capacity. Tesla Bjorn isn't alone in his discovery either. There are plenty of other Model 3 owners across various Tesla forums who are discovering their cars have similar issues. At the moment, Tesla hasn't officially responded to calls for an explanation from owners, which, to be honest, isn't really helping. After all, if you're expecting your car to travel a certain distance using a certain amount of energy, it's really not great if your car overnight suddenly travels less far than it once did. In the case of these Model 3 owners, a Tesla software update applied over the air does appear to be the culprit, just as it was for Model S and Model X owners. So why would Tesla do this? Well, I've got a good idea as to why, and I think Tesla is justified in doing so. I think Tesla decided to change the battery management software via an over-the-air software update to recalibrate what the car views as empty and what it views as full in order to ensure a longer lifespan for its battery pack. That, and I suspect, a more uniform performance for owners. You see, when your car says it's empty, there is still a significant amount of battery capacity left. This is done to protect the battery from the issues that can arise from deep discharging the pack. And on the other end, in the case of some automakers like Mercedes-Benz and Audi, is done to ensure that the car can rapid charge to what you think is full in a pretty short period of time by leaving a buffer at the top of the state of charge. In Tesla's case, I'm guessing that data from all of its customers' cars on the road showed that Tesla's previous battery management system was cutting it a bit fine in terms of safe, usable capacity. So Tesla probably tweaked it to ensure its capacity buffer was larger. In doing so, Tesla will reduce the likelihood of the battery pack overheating, which, while I'm not aware of any fires involving Model 3 batteries right now, would protect the battery pack and ensure it doesn't suffer physical damage due to overheating, even if the batteries don't catch fire. It will use less energy to keep itself cool, and it will reduce the problems associated with lifespan. And of course, it means that the battery is less likely to suffer damage and thus be able to travel further over the course of its life. Some critics have said that Tesla is just trying to get around a recall, but honestly, this behavior isn't unusual. I've seen other automakers do exactly the same thing. Both Nissan and GM have issued battery management software updates in the past that subtly change how much capacity is available for customers to use, although they weren't over the air. But I don't see why Tesla doing the same thing over the air would be a big issue. After all, if the choice is between a few extra kilometers of range, I think we are talking about 20 kilometers in case of the Model 3, and a longer battery life that doesn't suffer issues down the road, I think most people would choose a longer battery life than a longer range. At the end of the day, if Tesla has the data that suggests its battery packs are better off with a slightly smaller capacity between what it says is full and what it says is empty, I think it's a smart move to change the overall battery capacity available to customers. What I don't think is a smart move, however, is not communicating this change effectively to its customers. 
Tesla customers are loyal and for the most part, pretty supportive of the brand and its goals. Being open and honest about why these changes have been pushed to customers' cars should be at the top of Tesla's priority list. I'm not sure it is. Have you noticed a change in range to your Model 3? Do you support this change if it gives your car a longer life and many, many more years of use? Or are you upset that your car no longer travels quite as far per charge as it once did and Tesla didn't tell you about it? Do you think there should have been a choice offered to customers? And how would you have handled this if you were at Tesla? Let me know below. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. You can send us a couple of dollars our way every month through Patreon, feed our coffee habit and tip us with a coffee at Kofi, or visit our swag store. There's still time to get those Halloween shirts. I'll be back soon with more content for you all to enjoy. But until then, keep evolving.